welcome back to my channel my name is Delilah if you're new here and I welcome you to a new video so this is my third part of my little series for chinchilla videos this is my facts part this is the most interesting in my opinion I have found so many cool facts about chinchillas so if you haven't already watched my first two videos the do's and the don'ts to being a chin parent please click on the link in the description and you will be taken right to them well, let's get started fact number one they cannot get wet and they only take dust baths I feel like that's the coolest thing I originally found out what a chinchilla was from a co-worker he's like hey oh I just babysitted my chinchilla and stuff like that and I'm like who's that what's, what's that oh my gosh you don't understand people have called my chinchilla a dog because it sounds like chihuahua they called him a rat called him a hamster like chinchillas are chinchilla they're special they take dust bath there's the cutest little videos of it I promise you if you do go and look at them their hair is super dense therefore you cannot get them wet they have 50 to 80 hairs per hair follicle which is completely different for human which is 2 to 3 opposed to 50 to 80 it's super cool and it's also 30 times softer than human hair they have the second densest fur in any mammal they can resist parasites such as fleas they have the soft this fur of all land animals and their hair isn't an allergen and that means that let's say you're allergic to like dogs or cats or something like that you will not be allergic to their fur because it is not an allergen due to their crappy eyesight they have a lot of whiskers like really long whiskers and they use them to kind of like navigate and stuff like that let's say there's something too close to them like like I said before they're preyed on they will feel them rather than see them automatically even though they have side eyes which in my anthropology class I have learned that animals with side eyes can kind of see like up to here but chinchillas do have crappier eyesight so they use their whiskers when in danger and when they're scared let's say something grabs them or somebody's picking them up and they're scared of it they will do something called a fur slip which let's say you grab them they will kind of like shed their fur and it's gonna get stuck in your hands and they're gonna be loose which is really cool in my opinion that has happened to me before it's creepy it does grow back chinchillas are able to jump up to six feet high i am 5'3 and knowing that my chin can be able to jump over my head is ridiculous to me they can climb very well because they lived in the wild in rocky and mountainous areas so they can climb so you know get them some high cages and also they use their squirrel like tail I'm sure you have noticed they have little like cute furry tails to balance themselves out I have a video where my chin was kind of like sitting on his food bowl and he was kind of like rocking back and forth and his little tail would like balance it out it's the cutest thing and he would fall it's so cute chinchillas are used for fur industries they have the softest fur so literally what fur industries will do is skin them and make clothes out of it i am appalled by it it's disgusting i just i can't even deal chinchillas are so freaking cute and adorable and so vulnerable so it's like knowing that happens just disgusts me but it does happen chinchillas cannot sweat they don't have the sweat glands to do so so like i mentioned in my do's and don'ts videos you have to keep a certain environment cool environment around them so that they do not overheat chinchillas have four toes on each foot i think it's cute i didn't know that i thought that was pretty cool they also have nails you would think they would have like little claws no they don't if you look at it, your chinchilla you will see little nails like us little toes chinchillas cannot burp or vomit so their diet is important to be followed by hay it provides the fiber and the digestive system is able to digest anything that like gassy or anything like that they cannot burp or vomit so you really have to keep an eye on what you give them to eat they can be taught tricks i have actually known this since before i even got a chinchilla that's kind of why i got them i thought one that's one of the reasons why i got mine i thought it was the cutest thing i have not taught him anything but you can use little like you know treats like how you would use with the dog i'm sure it's not as extensive as with the dog but if you guys have done any tricks please comment down below i would love to know if you have any videos oh my goodness yes chinchillas have different noises such as barks grunts squeals and chirps i will link a site in the description where you can listen to different noises that chinchillas usually make and it can give you a little insight on what they need what they want if they're just being spoiled either one you'll know most likely and i'll link it down below so that you're you know it's kind of interesting in my opinion they live on average for 15 years they can live 13 they can live 20 i have heard both cases but they are a life almost a lifelong commitment so if you'd want to get a dog or something like that a chinchilla is somewhere in that vicinity of like long living but 
they're a blessing and I would love to have my chin for 15 years. What I thought was really, really super cool fact is that their hearing is in fact in the same range as ours, humans. So they're often used for study involving their auditory system. I think that's really cool. Scientists often want to find out more things about humans, so they use animals to kind of like perform experiments. Not very positive, but perform experience or studies on animals to make to kind of get to know the humans better. And I think that's really cool because I never knew my chinchilla can hear the same thing I can. All pet chinchilla that are found in the US actually came from 11 original chinchillas that one person brought to the US. I thought that was super cool. My chinchilla is related to another chinchilla in the US. What? So they all of them were basically offsprings of those 11 chinchillas originally brought to the US. Chinchillas red blood cells can carry a lot more oxygen than any other rodents such as rabbits. This helps them cope with living at such high altitude. They're actually from the mountains so they would be really high. It would be very helpful in their case. And the air is much thinner in the mountains. They're from the Andes Mountains in South America so I thought that was a cool fact. Chinchillas are able to sleep upside down in just about every way possible. Right side up, upside down, sideways. I Oh my goodness. There's some really funny pictures. If you look them up, there's some really funny pictures about chinchillas sleeping like this. It's so cute. And that's because of the tiny crevices in the mountains that they're from. They would like kind of like huddle up in between the mountains and kind of like sleep like this. So that's why. They digest everything twice. It's called... Ugh. Excuse me if I pronounce this wrong. Cacotrophy? Cacotrophy. Damn, I said that super wrong. They digest everything they eat twice. They eat their poop. It's called cecotrophy. I have noticed rodents do do that a lot of them. So that's not very unique, but I thought it was like a lot of chin parents are like, why is my chinchilla pulling the poop out of his butt and eating it? That's why they kind of just ingest all the nutrients twice. Chinchillas are completely odorless. If you do smell an odor, it's most likely their bedding. Just change it. They don't smell like dogs or like other rodents that may like kind of stink up your room. They don't do that. They're very clean animals. You can potty train them with a glass oblong kind of container. Kind of like, let's say you want to make lasagna, like those kind of glass things. I actually bought one and it's kind of working. You can use some river rocks to encourage them, put some bedding in it, and they will most likely use it, especially because it's just an open space for them to do whatever they want. So you can potty train them, but don't expect all of it to go in there because most likely, a lot, chinchillas usually they'll just like eat in a poop, drink in a poop by accident, like it'll just come out. So it's not like they're... Just trying to piss you off, but it's, it is what it is. Another fact is that they popcorn. Now I'm gonna insert a clip here of an owner of a chinchilla named Bounce. And you guys, it is the cutest little baby and honestly, my baby's twin because it looks exactly like Bliss. I got the owner's permission. Thank you so much for letting me use it. But you guys, it is the most adorable thing ever. The next thing is that there is actually a few types of chinchilla. There is lock-in, which is like a curly type of chinchilla. There is the standard chinchilla, such as mine, such as Bliss. And there's also an Angora chinchilla, which is more of like, I guess like a silky kind of velvety looking one. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but you guys see the difference. And also, there are lots and lots of colors for chin. Can't even keep up. I think mine is like a beige. Yeah, Bliss is a beige chinchilla, but then there's like velvet, and then, uh, listen, you guys, there's a lot, and I did not know about this before I got a chinchilla. And last but not least, they are crepuscular. That means they are not nocturnal, they don't just sleep in the daytime and are up at night. Crepuscular means is that they play at dawn and dusk. My chinchilla gets up kind of in the middle of the day to kind of just like, you know, welcome me back home or something like that and go back to sleep. Most of the time, he'll be up at around 10, 9, something like that like that he'll be up at random moments mostly at night but they're not nocturnal like I said dawn and dusk so that's it you guys this is my last video for my chinchilla do don'ts and facts video if you like this video please like subscribe and comment comment anything you have learned that you thought was cool interact with me about being a chin parent you guys I love chinchillas I think they're the cutest if you have Facebook and you're not in a Facebook chin group there's many, many, many I can recommend. If you want to, just message me and I'll recommend you some. They are very helpful. 
Um, trips to the vet can cost a lot of money if you're just worried about the littlest things and a lot of the chin parents have went through what you went through so it can be very helpful. If you haven't already found out what you want to find out from me, you can always ask and join the groups or look online and things like that. There's many, many helpful websites that can help you but make sure it's a good website and it's not giving you the wrong information. So like I said, if you haven't watched the do's and the don'ts video, I will link them down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little three part series and once again, if you are thinking about being a chin parent, I highly recommend. They are a blessing. My fur baby is my favorite. His name is Blitz. My baby. Please comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna repeat myself one more time and have a good day. And remember, you're a goddess. Later. I think I'm bad as hell. I got his shoes out of line. Saying tomorrow I do the dishes. Never come easy, big easy. Wake up on. Just give as much as you take. Forgive as much as you hate. Or get the fuck out.